Hi, Mrs. Rank is here. This week you're supposed to be reading the story, The Dog That Dug for Dinosaurs. That's about Mary Anning and her dog. And they were real people and real animals. They lived in Lyme Regis, which was a coastal town in the English Channel. Um, so out in England, country of Europe. And she actually did go look for dinosaurs. So really enjoy this story this week. I wanted to share a tongue twister with you. Unfortunately, it's backwards. I apologize. But you've probably heard it or you can easily look it up. It's written by Terry Sullivan. And it's about Mary Anning. That's why I wanted to share it with you. It says, she sells seashells by the seashore. Easy to read, nice and slow. But a tongue twister, when you read it fast, three times each, your tongue starts to get jumbled up and it sounds funny. So it's a challenge. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashores by the seashore. So it's about Mary Anning because her and her dad used to go out and collect seashells and fossils and they did sell it to all the people that were coming to the beach. And she eventually started digging and she discovered some dinosaurs, skeletons, fossils, bones. So back in 1811, she discovered the first ichthyosaurus and all these scientists around the world started to come and they tried to figure out what it was. They thought it looked like a crocodile. There's a picture of it in your story. Ichthyosaurus means fish lizard. And they realized, so it's a marine reptile, that it lived um, like 200 million years ago. So she discovered that, Ichthyosaurus. In 1823, she discovered the first complete skeleton of a plesiosaurus. So it had a long neck, it had flippers, which made sense because she lived right by the water and she would be digging along the cliffs, okay, right along the water. Um, plesiosaurus means near to reptile, and guess what? There's sayings that maybe it was confused for the Loch Ness Monster. Did you guys read the mysterious tadpole and Alphonse, and they thought maybe it was the Loch Ness Monster, which was a fiction story, but it's kind of getting connected. In 1828, she discovered a pterosaur. So it had um, wings, a long tail. Well, later, they coined the term a pterodactyl, which is probably a dinosaur you've heard of. <clears throat> so Mary Anning, she was a paleontologist, someone who studied dinosaur bones, a fossil collector. And she really was one of the first women to be doing this. So she had a hard time because back then they thought only men can do things like that. But now the Natural History Museum in London showcases several of her spectacular finds. So London is a city in England, which again is near where she lived. Um, so like many museums right now, you can take virtual tours of the museum. So that'd be kind of cool to check out. So again, the tongue twister that was written about Mary Anning, who was in The Dog That Dug for Dinosaurs is, she sells seashells by the seashore. Have a good day.